Hey everyone, this is Ben Songroth with the Learning Technology Center of Illinois, and I want to share another tip for remote learning with your students. Uh, so it's March of 2020, we're in the midst of a lot of conversation about e-learning and remote learning, and one of the ways that we want to help you guys is show you how you can take PDFs and make them an e-learning experience for your students. So the tool to do that is going to be Kami. Uh, right now, Kami is offering free support uh, for schools that are affected by the coronavirus and school closures due to it. So that's what I'm going to show you, some of the premium features that you can leverage to help make the remote learning experience possible for your students. So as you can see, I have a PDF up that I would have used with my AP US History class. I actually did use this with my AP US History classes. And we're talking about enlarging the nation state. And in this PDF, I would have printed it out, handed it out to them, and then they would have to fill in each one of these columns. And then at the end, fill out the map that shows where that territory was. Well. This is something that if I could hand it out, it would be fine, but then I'd have to collect it and it would be kind of a mess. So with Kami, what I can do is as a teacher, I'm going to use Kami's feature to integrate with Google Classroom to explain this in a little bit more detail to them. So what I'm going to look at is the comment feature over here, and then scroll down, you can see you can add text comments, voice comments, video comments, and screen capture comments. I think these are all super powerful for this. So the first thing I'm going to do is explain this in further detail to my students by using the screen capture commenting tool. So I will go ahead and I, you also have to have the Kami Chrome extension for this uh, in order to do the screen capture. It's screen capture by Kami uh, and the Kami Chrome extension as well. So I've got the screen capture tool here. So what I'll do is just show you really quickly how it works. So I click to add a comment. I share my screen. And then over on the right hand side, I get a box that pops up. Now that's recording me right away. So I can say, okay, kids, today, here's your PDF activity that you're going to work through. Uh, we're talking about enlarging the nation state. When you get to this spec section here, you're going to look at the original, uh, the territory. Then you're going to use the text tool on this side to type in the date acquired, uh, the previous owner, and then the circumstances of acquisition. This is great because they can change the font size and you might you will get more information out of them when they're typing because they're able to shrink it and make it fit inside of the PDF. Now, as I'm continuing to give my fake instructions here, I can tell them, okay, scroll down, and when you get done with the first, with these eight, you're gonna go ahead and look at the map. Well, you see that the map is crooked, so what I'm gonna ask you actually to do is to go up to your menu option here and rotate this clockwise. This is gonna rotate the PDF for them, which is super cool. Then, kids, what I want you to do is use the drawing tools on this side to go over and outline each area of acquisition and then put a text box in. So if I wanted to say the original uh, United States, I can use yellow and then I can draw around the original United States. So that's really cool because I can explain to them, they can see what I'm doing, and then now I'm just going to go up and ahead and select that and delete it so it's off of there. And then I can tell them, okay, when you go back to the top, just rotate this counterclockwise. Scroll back up, turn off my recording. And what's neat is that screen capture then sits over here in this comment area and you can enlarge it and watch that video back. And then over on the right hand side I get a box. So your students can watch you explain the activity to them and then you can have them see exactly what you want them to do without being in the room with them. So when this is done we want to make sure it's saved. It'll save automatically. You can double check it, click save, you can see what folder it goes into in your Google Drive, all that good stuff. And then up here, we're going to go ahead and look into Google Classroom. So one of the things that we can do is we can share this out through Google Classroom. Um, you can share it out through Google Classroom using this menu bar here with the share, but we're actually just going to go ahead and click on New Classroom, go to Create Cami Assignment. That starts to show up when you add the Chrome, uh, the Cami Chrome extension. And we can say Enlarging US. Go down here, add a Google Drive file. So this one was called FETC Enlarging US Text and Map Together. So I'll find the file that I want. I'm going to go ahead and make a copy for every student and assign that out. So it assigns out just like it would a normal Google Classroom assignment for your kids. And while that's going, we're going to jump into Writer's uh, class here. So he's one. Okay, so we're in Writer now. He's our uh, demo student here. He can now go into his classwork. He can see that here's his enlarging United States activity. When he clicks on this, he'll be able to click on it, click Open with Cami, and then when he opens this up, 
he'll be able to see over on the right hand side my video comment that now has the instructions for that particular activity and all he'll have to do is go in find it and hit play as it loads and then over on the right hand side I get a box and he box can up. now watch now that's recording me right away so I can say okay kids today here me explain the assignment which is I think really cool uh, then he has all the capabilities of Cami at his disposal to go ahead and annotate on this PDF. I'll probably create another couple of videos on Cami just to share out so you can see it. But the big ones I already showed you were adding drawings, uh, shapes. You can also add those in as well. And then if you wanted to, if say this was vocabulary instead of uh, an AP assignment like this, you can actually go down here to the image search and your students can do a Google search for different images and drop them into the PDF as well and turn those in. And when Ryder is finished with this, he can go up and hit the turn in button. Um, I guess the other thing I'd like to mention is that say Ryder is uh, struggling as a typer, um, he can actually add his own audio or video comments to this. So perhaps you want the students to actually describe to you what that particular part of the worksheet was or that particular part of the PDF was in the, using their own voice. He can click voice comment and then he can go ahead and then insert it in and say uh, they acquired it via the Declaration of Independence, the Revolutionary War. All right, so now that's there. And then when he hits turn in, that audio comment also gets submitted for you to review in Google Classroom. So he'll go ahead and click turn in. And then now as his teacher, I can look back here at the assignment, go to the turned in section here and see that now I have one turned in, it's from Ryder. When I click on that, it goes into the feedback area. And one of the really cool things about Cami is that when you click the box grade with Cami, you now get to provide feedback on that PDF using all of the Cami tools straight away in Google Classroom. So that's just a couple of really neat features that Cami offers uh, you to be able to turn your PDFs into a remote learning experience. We'll try to create out, crank out some more uh, of these videos uh, this week to kind of help you guys in this adventure. But they're timeless. This stuff works no matter if you're doing remote learning or e-learning. Uh, it's just pretty timely uh, here in March of 2020 with what we're experiencing. So good luck and uh, let me know if you have any questions.